going on everyone? I'm Tony with rchelp.com and today we're going to be continuing on with the Back to Basics series on the Icon 2. In today's video, I'm going to show you what you're going to go through with a brand new gyro when you first connect it up to your computer. Now before you connect it up to your computer, you're going to have to download and install the Icon configuration software. The link to that is going to be located down in the description. Now the first time you plug your icon into your computer, it's going to bring up a dialog and if you have your computer set to check Windows Update, it's going to take forever. Now inside that box where it's checking Windows Update, guys, you can click that little link in there, skip the Windows Update, and it'll install a driver that was installed whenever you put the icon configuration software on your computer. So if you want to make your life a lot easier, guys, skip that installation from Windows Update and let it install it from the icon configuration software. So in today's video, we're going to plug this thing in and I'm going to show you the updates that it's going to do. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive on the computer. I'll show you what comes up whenever you plug in your gyro after the driver installation and how to update the firmware on your gyro whenever you plug it in. Alright guys, so here we are on the desktop. I've already got my USB cable plugged into the computer. Now I'm going to go ahead and plug it into the gyro. Alright, I've got it plugged in. Now we're going to go ahead and open up the icon configuration software. As you can see here, port scanning, it's searching for the icon. Once it finds it, the firmware version you are running is not the currently recommended one. The unit must be updated. Now this can be a good thing and a bad thing for icon because if they have a bad update, you're going to get it automatically. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to update your icon. We're going to go ahead and click OK. Because as you can see here, I am on 2.0.008. And the latest is 3.0.006. So I'm a full version behind on this icon and I just took it out of the package. So we'll go ahead and click OK. As you can see right here, we've got our firmware update progress. You're going to hear the gyro connecting and disconnecting, connecting and disconnecting multiple times as it's updating the firmware. As you can see here, new firmware OK. You do not need to redo the setup if it's already been done and or reload a previous setup file. So if you do an update here on the computer, normally you're not going to have to go through and redo your setup, but I highly suggest you guys double check your settings because you never know. As things can go wrong. Software is not always perfect. So we're going to go ahead and click OK. Here's your little about page to tell you about the new firmware that you just installed. And most importantly, we're connected up to the icon configuration software. So now that we're updating everything, we're ready to go in, set this gyro up, connect the spectrum satellite to it, bind it up to our DX9, get all the pitches and everything right, and go ahead and take this thing outside and give it a flight. So guys, I hope that helps you understand some of the things that they do from Icon whenever you plug in your gyro. They're going to force an update on you, otherwise you're not going to be able to adjust anything inside your gyro. Like I said, this can be a good and a bad thing. If they had a botched version that just does not work at all, your setup doesn't like it, you know, maybe there's oscillations, or like the 3GX where it had tip over issues, it had tail issues, you just never know. They force you to update it, but most of the time with Icon and Brain, they do a really good job on their updates. It's one of the best gyros out there, so I always just go ahead and update it. And especially like right now, I just took this Icon out of the package. I just installed it here into the helicopter. And whenever I opened up the configuration software, I was going from version 2 to version 3. That's a huge jump. So guys, I hope this helps you out. Please be sure to give this video a thumbs up. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, post them in the comment section below. If you're not subscribed to us yet, what are you guys waiting for? Click that subscribe button over there. And as always, I want to thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video.